this. Oh, don't flip me! No, this is bad. I've been put in spin cycle. I've been put in spin cycle. We're good. We're good. What is going on, guys? This is the Lost Jetty here. Welcome back. We are back for some more Need for Speed Redux Mod 1, version 1.2. Um, without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, where we la last left off, we made this uh, kick in golf, uh, which is I'm act I'm actually pretty chuffed on. I know it's not really like the craziest thing. Goal for today. I understand this was the goal for last episode, but we uh, conquered the wrong nation. And now the fire, well, no, I guess that's the fire nation. We are invading the earth kingdom. Uh, unfortunately, and I said this in the last episode, we are color matched to the enemy's team. Did not think that went through. Actually, no, our car is actually deeper, darker, menacing, and frankly, a lot more visually appealing. We didn't ask my opinion, and I almost got hit by a chicken bucket. Uh, we forgot to change our our teammate, and I kind of don't regret it because Samson's an absolute unit, and he will decimate all those who oppose us. I will say, guys, if you want to take the time to install this mod for yourself, do try the police pursuits. They are actually pretty good, and from my memory, which is only my memory, I remember them being fairly trash, at least in the base game. So, kudos to the mods, or kudos to me just being more about the game. Sorry, dude, I uh, kind of break your through there. NBD. Dude, the yellow brake calipers are hot. Straight up hot. Oh, are you gonna give me the cutscene now? Tell me to leave. Tell me that I am encroaching on your turf. Tell me that you're going to give me your dope ass RX7. Oh, we're rocking the same color and the same wheels. I don't know what's more pathetic, your crew or your car. It looks pretty much identical to yours, except yellow underglow, not green. In fact, one of the cars driving away is also a golf. How about like right now? What else you got going on? I literally hired you. Can we get airtime and speed barker? Yeah, we're just losing oh, it's losing speed for hitting a small family. And I am immediately being very underwhelmed. I I might need to install that turbo upgrade to make this golf more competitive. But if Samson just wants to carry the team and get us uh, through this area, that's fine too. But clearly, the muscle cars in this game are just OP. All right, I think that grabs us our second piece of territory. Love that. They're brick walls. I literally cannot do anything compared to the base game. No, Biggie, please don't push me out of the way. Uh, no roadblocks in the shortcut. We take those! Do we also get the Super Breaker from that? Like, I hit him, and he almost busts me. Also, how many cops are on me now? <laughs> Oh, don't flip me! No, this is bad. I've been put in spin cycle. I've been put in spin cycle. We're good. We're good. This is absurd. It's just the quantity and the fact that they are so rock hard, like Dwayne the Rock Johnson's abs, that I cannot penetrate his abs. Yeah, I'm still going. Don't have anywhere to go though, it's fine. That's a win. Just don't see me and we're good. Easy dub. 40 cruisers later. Yes, I, I did in fact. Yes, I drove through the roadblock. Thank you, game! Right 
I think we do I think we do the drift event purely because it won't spawn cops and that will actually allow us to progress a little bit are we we out here we out here getting all the points I don't know what I'm doing but it's working it's doing something Woo but that's okay only 670k points that's all no big deal with a front wheel drive car. The Golf is always a weird one, right? So like the R32, I always thought these were pretty cool cars. That said, the Golf is one of those few cars, kind of like a Jeep Wrangler, where it, it hasn't really changed enough for me to feel like anything's special or different. And what I mean by that is like, as, as someone who likes tuner cars, right? And I'll, I'll call this thing a tuner car, which I think a lot of people would anyway. Um, like the Golf R, super cool right but it versus a gti and i understand this is going to come off a little insensitive uh there's not enough of a difference other than performance which i understand is a very well of a difference that doesn't make it feel like it it's something really special if it makes sense whereas like a lot of other performance cars you have like the sti to the dever x and the STI is always so cool. I and mean, it's unfortunate that we didn't get one for the uh, VB generation, the most recent generation. But it's so cool when you see, like, the VA or the last gen, I think 2015 to 2021, that would make sense. Um, like, when you see the STI, you're like, oh, that's that car, but, like, the special version. And obviously, Evo did it so well for the Mitsubishi. Golf, the Golf never really did it with GTI slash the Golf R slash. Uh, the R32, in my opinion, was probably the closest way. Um, although it does look very, very similar. Oh, you dude, you were... That traffic car was literally coming for me because it... He shouldn't have been driving down an alleyway. AI is rigged, man. Easy. All right, so now... Now we take on uh, Kenji. Kenji, I think. I might do an RX-7 build next. Because I will want to ch uh, change it up for going for Darius. I know RX-7 is in the base game, but dude, RX-7 is such a sick car, and I feel like they have so much customization for it. You remember me, right? No, don't remember you. I don't think you do. You were the, probably the least memorable of the bosses, actually. I say is basically ripping off your style. Peace out, Cub Scout. Don't lose now for idiotic mistake. Okay, bring me to the canyons, baby. It's your last chance to face reality and back off. Not happening, dude. You know, I, I didn't think before with the R33 I was going to be able to do work. Like, I feel like I could actually slap him right now. And as long as I'm smart enough to not throw myself off the cliff, we might be good here. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a pass. Because here's the, here's the finish line. But with 150k, I'm not overly concerned about him catching up. It's not going to be the 500 points that we saw with Angie, but it was closer than I thought. Let's freaking go. You know what that means. It's time for us to take on Darius. See what we can actually do in terms of car garages. Or car lot. See if there's any upgrades that we want to make. Do we have other tier? Oh, we have other tier tier twos. Okay. So we're just going to tier two. We got the Corolla, the MR2. Solid option. RX-7, the stats are pretty good right off the right off the rip, actually. The GTO, which is actually kind of sick, and it is a car from this mod, so I'm very tempted. Do we do it, ladies and gentlemen? Do we just send it? I think we do. All right, let's see how overpowered we can make this thing. Yo, it's actually kind of sick. Listen, you can't do much with the Ferrari, but it does look pretty dope. All right. So now that we actually are somewhat... Let's look at our stats. We should be somewhat competitive. 
Like it's pretty much maxed out rocket ship. It's not as it's not quite as rocket ship as our charger, which now putting in perspective is kind of hilarious. Also considering it's like twice as large, but whatever, it should handle well. We're gonna go take it on. Oh, literally that car is missing everything. We have in fact broken the game. There is nothing left of it. I'm sorry, I actually have a rocket ship now. Now I should preface in the whole like, Lamborghini Ferrari thing, not a Ferrari fan. That said, they do look, especially the older ones, super freaking cool. Like I said before, big fan of basically anything from the 80s, just because that like that chunky, blocky body style. Oh, progressive. Oh, he's got an F40? I'm sorry, I, I definitely took a downgrade. Didn't realize that F40 was a choice. I may need to reconsider. You're just letting him pass like that? Nikki, you, you just let him. You just let him win. Literally the car with no bumper, no front bumper, no engine, no nothing. Doing better than I am right now. We need to reconsider our strategies. This is not good. If I don't win this, and I still have the cops on me, I'm gonna be real disappointed. Come on, just finish the race. Finish him first, finish him first. Okay, it was worth. It was worth it. That said, I now have to dish the cops. Okay. I hope we're okay. Just fingers crossed, and as soon as this uh, cooldown does, we're gone. Love that. All right, there we go. This Lamborghini is freaking whipping it, dude. Oh, this is bad. Hey, first off of the canyons. I will say, the uh, philosophy of making her car super fast but un impossible to control, very accurate. You know, muscle cars, uh, that's what this feels like, is just like all go and no stop. 30, I see the countdown happening. Neither this is gonna be closer than Angie's. Oh, we lost. Already! We lost already. All right, back in the canyons, we have our Ferrari this time. And ironically, if the Ferrari wins, then we probably shouldn't be selling the Ferrari, but that's a... Another battle, first things first, is we have to beat the Mercy. And I was using the Charger, which was great and all, but I couldn't make literally any turns. So although its straight line speed is definitely superior, uh, being able to not throw myself off the cliff again would be a good idea. And really, my mental dilemma here is, if I can beat him, is it worth swapping over to the Mercy? Because it shouldn't be. Unless we continue to operate on the fact that the Mercy is just sandbagging real hard. Almost a 240. Oh, a 240 on the dot. Now the question is, can I not choke for long enough to make it through this? He's actually a brick wall, excuse me. Oh no!
All right, we got up a couple extra points over last time to almost an extra 5k. Hopefully, we don't need it. And I th think we're a little behind pace, unfortunately. But any impacts we can take and keep on trucking is just hurting or helping us in the long run. Just gotta hold on a little bit longer, dude. 20, 19, 16, 10. Oh, we good. Oof. It was definitely for those impacts. Those, those hits saved us. I know, bold move, but we are going to sell our GTO. All right. The Mercy. It's just slightly better acceleration. Oh, we got a Supra now. Don't didn't didn't see that one before. It's actually just all of my all of our money. That's fine. I probably should have bought the the not LP640, but the LP640 looks so much cooler. We literally can't even afford to paint it. LOL. Okay, so in next episode, this is this is where we're gonna be taking a break here. So next episode, we're definitely gonna have to come back and upgrade the Mercy um, to not suck as bad. But for getting started, I think it's the way to go. And then next time we can take on Darius. So thank you guys so much for hanging with me. Uh, sorry for the uh, trials and tribulations of the canyons today, but I think we made good progress. Um, that's all we got time for. So as always, this has been your host, The Lost Yeti, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Need for Speed Carbon, the Redux mod. See you guys then.